Okay, so I'm on the AmericanVinylCo.com website. I went over to the left-hand side of the screen and I hit 1 to 30 records under the navigation panel. This is going to take you to all of our one-off and short-run options. So these first four are going to be our most popular options. These are our one-off options. And then further down here are our short-run options. So that's anywhere from 4 to 30 right here. So our 12-inch vinyl holds 20 minutes per side of audio. Our 7-inch vinyl holds 5 minutes per side of audio. And our 10-inch vinyl holds 12 minutes per side of audio. I do recommend putting as little audio as you can on the sides and not trying to cram too much um, because it's just going to ensure better audio quality if you fit less time in. So if you have you know, a, a five minute side instead of putting it on a seven inch, it might be better to expand and put it on a ten inch record instead. So that's just a tip. I'm going to hit the twelve inch custom vinyl record as an example. Okay, so our turnaround time for this is listed here. Um, all of our turnaround times are, they're not guarantees, they're just estimates depending on you know how much our production team can get out. Um, so if you need something uh, before the quoted turnaround time, I do recommend putting a rush on this, which you can do right here. All right, so I'm going to go back up. This is a note about copyright. Um, this is super important. I do recommend reading this. Um, it's just describing the audio that we can and cannot accept, and that is super important for these one-offs um, since they're the only products that you can put um, music that's not your own on them. All right, so this is all your options here, your color, your length discount. If you put less than 10 minutes in, you get a 10% discount, so that is a, a recommended um, option right there. You can add an extra copy for original music only, 50% off an extra copy. I'm going to go to packaging right here, so this is where you're going to select if what cover you want, if you do want a cover. Um, I'm going to click this and it's going to pull up the link to the online cover designer there's also downloadable versions of these templates, which you can find right here. So if you want to use them in your own program, that's where you're going to find the templates for those. All right, so I hit printed cover. You just want to make sure that you click that so that it's paid for before you purchase. 12 inch cover designer, it's going to pop up a link right here. All right, so I'm going to hit customize. Right, and this is the designer. So a very important note, this is the front, this is the back, this is the bleed area on the top and on the bottom. So anything that's in this bleed area is not going to show on your cover. So if you have text in here, if you have you know important images in here, you want to make sure that it's actually closer towards the center on either side. Um, if it's anywhere in this area or even if it's really really close to that edge it's possible that it'll get cut off or it won't show on the print so you do just want to keep that in mind so over here all the tools you can see you're gonna upload an image so I picked a, a stock photo um, cowboy dog alright so I'm gonna arrange the image I can resize it using this tool right here. I'm going to center it, make sure it looks good. You do have this little line that helps with the top and bottom centering. I'm going to do that right there. That looks pretty good. Um, you can also edit the background here. So I'm going to do that. It'll pull up a gradient. I think I'll do, let's see, blue. Yeah do that. You can add text right here.
can arrange it right there. There's your little centering line that'll help with you centering the text. You can change the color of the text. I think I'll do white so it shows up really well. And then a lot of people will like to add a track list onto the back. So I'll do that. One, song one. Center that. I'll make that white as well. I can resize it. All right, very simple design, obviously, but it's just an example of how you're supposed to do it. You can change your font size right here, your alignment for the text right here. All right, so I'm going to call that done. So I'll save my design just in case I want to use this on another order. Save it. All right, and then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add it to my cart. All right, it is in my cart now. Now I'm going to go back to the vinyl product and I'm going to select my labels. So I decided I wanted to do customize center labels. I'm going to click that. It's going to pop up another link. Um, again, the downloadable version is, is further down and you can do that. I'm going to click that. I'm going to hit customize again. And here you have the option to either do uh, your own design, completely your own design. You can choose the blank one right here, or we have some pre-designed options available. So I'll hit one of these pre-designed options just to show you how it works. So I'm going to use the same image that I used for my cover, and it's just going to automatically pop it in there. Fix that a little bit. I'm going to go over and I'm going to change the text. So you want to make sure when you want to add text to the label design, you need to click on the text boxes. Don't just click anywhere around it. You need to click on the text, the default text that's there. So I'm going to put my own text in there. Looks good. I will click this one. The best dog ever. I'm going to change, you, you have the option to um, put in a location here if you want, or anything, it doesn't have to be a location. I'll put Asheville, North Carolina, since that's where we are. Alright, done with that one. That's side B. I'm going to do the same thing for side A. And I won't do the text again. You all get the gist about that. Um, you have the option to save the design again, but I'm just going to add it directly to my cart. And then I'm going to go back to the vinyl product. And here is your audio upload section right here. So side A and side B. So you can upload, it'll pull up your library. Um, you can upload uh, WAV files, MP3 files, FLAC, AIFF, and M4A. Those are all the formats that we accept. And there will be a little uploader that will load your audio into the panel. And then you do have an option to remove the files if you messed up or something like that. So you'll do save, uh, side A and then side B. Um, this is the panel for if you used your own program to design your cover and your labels. You'll upload those files here. Either a P PDF or a PSD will work. 
And then here the last thing is you can add a tip to your record maker. We do split all of the tips evenly. There's four of us right now, so it is super appreciated if you decide to leave a tip. And then I'm going to add this to my cart. I've already got the label designer and the cover designer in there, so you don't need to do anything else with those. All right, so it's been added to my cart. I'll go to my cart now, and I am ready to check out. So you can see I've got the cover designer in there, the label designer, and the vinyl itself. So you want to make sure that all three of these things are in there, otherwise it won't come through on our end. So here you'll put in all of your information if you have a gift card. Time to do that would be then. Enter the code. All right, so you can see the thumbnails of the cover designer and the labels and everything that you selected here. And then you'll go to checkout.